Deputy Patrick O'Donovan and the deputies, three minutes. Um, thanks very much, Cahir. Look, and um, I welcome the opportunity to speak, and I want to thank Deputy O'Sullivan for bringing forward the motion. Um, I've said it here before, and I have no problem saying it, that uh, I think the motions that uh, Deputy Maureen O'Sullivan brings before the doll routinely are, are um, out of a, a degree of sincerity, and I think a lot of opposition spokespersons could gain something by, by um, her attitude in, in, in the position which she brings. And I think that um, the outset, you know, the, the, the first line in the motion acknowledges the fact that there's an economic recovery. And I think that economic recovery has been built in no small way out of um, the, it's, while it's very fragile, it has been built out of the policies that have been implemented uh, by government over the last uh, three and a half years. And we, we know the, the statistics in relation to job creation, and we know the statistics in relation to uh, the number of jobs that have been announced. And that really is the only route uh, out of the economic abyss that this country was led into, is the more con people that you can get back to work, the more you can build your tax base, the more you have a social dividend that you will be able to distribute. Uh, because unfortunately, when your credit line runs out uh, and you're not good for money, uh, there's very few people that will lend to you. Uh, you have to make uh, the decisions uh, that you have to make in order to balance the books. Some people don't believe in that, uh, and they believe, um, and I know Deputy O'Sullivan doesn't believe in it, but some people believe that if you dig a hole deep enough in the backyard, sooner or later you might strike oil. Uh, that never happens. I, I don't know any hole in this country other than uh, you know, the Derby O'Gill ones where the crack of gold ever comes out of. But in relation to the government's counter motion, and I think the government's counter motion actually goes a long way to what uh, Deputy O'Sullivan seeks to try to achieve in relation to the commitment whereby there will be interdepartmental discussion in relation uh, to the aspects of budgeting into the future. And we already have pre-budget submissions from an awful lot of the people that are referenced in, in the motion itself. And I think the more the, of that that can be engaged upon and the more uh, open that that can be and the more in which ministers, including Minister Harris, can do that in a public type forum uh, with proper discourse, I think that would be a welcome thing. I don't think you need to put that into legislation and I don't think that you need to be putting targets or percentages or anything like that. But in speaking of targets and percentages, I noticed the fi finance bill went through the doll there in the last uh, couple of hours. And this motion that Deputy O'Sullivan brings to is very relevant to the, um, to the finance bill because the finance bill was opposed by Sinn Féin and represented by Deputy uh, here this evening, Deputy Ellis. The Sinn Féin proposal would have had uh, the standard rate remain at 41% of income tax, but it had three increments of 7% per annum. That's 21% on top of that, bringing it up to 62. Add on 13% for USC and PRSI, or 15% depending, and you're at 75% for the so-called wealthy in our society, defined as, by Sinn Féin, the guard married to the teacher. 75 cent in the euro they would look to take off you. And if you were unfortunate enough, Chairman, like to have, as you know, many of them, 40 acres of marginal or bad land that you have a few heifers on or a few yews on, they didn't want to put a wealth tax on you. Not to mention that you might have an antique chair that you inherited from your grandmother well, that they also wanted to the tax. <laughs> So the counter-proposal from the people over here, and I'm not including Deputy O'Sullivan in that, is to tax you into oblivion in the hope that you'll recover the country. That will never happen, and I would like to support uh, the government's counter-motion. But as I say at the outset, I, I, I would like to applaud Deputy O'Sullivan's sincerity in bringing forward the motion Thanks, she brought Deputy. forward.